Hi, I'm Chris with Ideal, and today we're going to show you how to use the basic circuit tracer to identify a breaker in a panel. If you want to follow along, just download the Built app for our step-by-step -step instructions. It's free, easy to use, and utilizes 3D animation to give you a comprehensive guide. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is connect the transmitter to the circuit. So for circuits with outlets, you simply plug the transmitter into an outlet. For circuits with only conductors accessible, you're gonna connect the transmitter to the hot and the neutral conductors of the circuit. Next, you turn the transmitter on. And what you'll notice is the LED under the power button will illuminate, and then the LED under the lightning bolt will illuminate if the circuit is energized. Once we do that, we're gonna take the receiver, turn it on, hold it, down by the transmitter to make sure that they're communicating with each other. Connection is going to be confirmed when the receiver displays a signal strength number greater than zero along with a bar graph and an audible beep. So you set the receiver to the highest sensitivity mode which is level four and that's indicated by four arcs over the dot. And now we're going to go to the panel. In this particular situation you can see that we only have one panel. But let's say we had dual panels we'd want to find out which panel actually had the breaker in it. In order to do that, you simply scan the panels and determine which one has the highest reading. If two panels read 99 or are close in values, press the sensitivity button once to reduce the receiver's sensitivity one level and then rescan the panels. The panel with the highest reading is the panel the breaker is located in. Once you've identified the panel, you basically are going to open that up and you're going to set the receiver to the lowest setting, which is level one, then place the receiver on the panel positioned 90 degrees to the breaker with the flat tip of the receiver placed flat on the outside portion of the breaker. Scan the entire panel in a racetrack pattern with the receiver in this position to identify the breaker with the highest signal strength displayed on the receiver. Once you find or identify that particular breaker, Turn the breaker off and verify that the certain circuit lightning bolt indication has gone out. So if you've got the right breaker, the lightning bolt goes off. If you flip the breaker and the lightning bolt does not go off, then you do not have the right breaker and you need to rescan. I hope this video helped you understand how to use the SureTrace circuit tracer to identify a breaker in a panel. For more information, you can look at idealind.com and download the built app.